Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Pence, Alabama Republicans call for Representative Ilhan Omar's removal from Foreign Affairs Committee. On Monday, Vice President Mike Pence called for Congress to remove Representative Ilhan Omar, Democrat Minnesota, from the House Foreign Affairs Committee for recent comments that have been interpreted by leaders of both political parties to be anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitism has no place in the Congress of the United States of America, Pence said, addressing the comments by Omar. Anyone who slanders this historic alliance between the United States and Israel should never have a seat on the Foreign Affairs Committee. In response to Pence's call to remove E.E. Han Omar from the House Foreign Affairs Committee, 2016 Alabama Trump Victory Chair Perry O. Hooper Jr. issued his own statement, I agree 100 percent, Ilhan Omar must be removed from the House Foreign Affairs Committee. In her brief time as the representative of Minnesota's 5th District, Ilhan Omar has shown her loyalty to organizations that have known deep terrorism ties and has gone out of her way to use her position to attack and even tried to intimidate people and organizations that are pro-Israel. One noted pro-Israeli publication pointed out and I agree, she has increasingly become a gutter of hate. Democratic Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who appointed Omar to her coveted seat on the House Foreign Affairs Committee has continued to defend her by pretty much saying she was not smart enough to know what she was saying about Jewish people and supporters of Israel was anti-Semitic. Then why is she on the Foreign Affairs Committee in the House if she's not very smart? As Vice President Pence points out, Omar recently participated in a series of fundraisers, some of which were closed to the public, with groups tied to Islamic terrorism, Hooper said. Two of the closed events were with the Council on American-Islamic Relations, which is a pro-Palestinian organization with ties to terror groups, including Hamas. President Obama's Department of Justice listed Kerr as an unindicted co-conspirator in funding millions of dollars to the terrorist organization Hamas. I am outraged by the continued absurd comments from Rep. Omar, as I think most Alabamians are, said U.S. Rep. Bradley Byrne. Frankly, they showed just how radical the Democrat Party has become. Given her anti-Semitic views, she most certainly should not be allowed to continue serving on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman Mike Rogers, Republican Michigan, co-sponsored H. Rees. 72, which condemns all anti-Israel and anti-Semitic hatred including comments recently promoted by Louis Farrakhan and Democratic members of Congress. The growing hatred we hear spewed from people like Mr. Farrakhan has no place in American society, Rogers said. More shockingly, this hate has bled into the halls of Congress by liberal Democrats, and it is simply unacceptable. I will always stand with Israel and against anti-Semitism in whatever form it takes. Omar has attacked the Netanyahu government, the U.S. and Israel alliance and has repeatedly accused pro-Israel members of Congress of having dual loyalties. The Democratic chairman of the committee Elliot Engel, Democrat New York, recently condemned Omar for her continued anti-Israel rhetoric. Jewish Congresswoman Nita Lowy, Democrat New York asked Omar to soften her stance on social media. Lawmakers must be able to debate without prejudice or bigotry, Lowy said. I am saddened that rep. Omar continues to mischaracterize support for Israel. I urge her to retract this statement and engage in further dialogue with the Jewish community on why these comments are so hurtful. Our democracy is built on debate, Congresswoman. Omar said to Lowy over Twitter. I should not be expected to have allegiance-slash-pledge support to a foreign country in order to serve my country in Congress or serve on committee. The people of the fifth elected me to serve their interest. I am sure we agree on that. No member of Congress is asked to swear allegiance to another country," Lowy replied. Throughout history, Jews have been accused of dual loyalty, leading to discrimination and violence, which is why these accusations are so hurtful. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.